In today's number corner lesson, we will be comparing numeration systems now that we have solved the mystery about our calendar grid pattern. We have a few calendar markers to turn over today. Predict what today's calendar marker will look like. We turned over September 11th, September 12th, September 13th, and now September 14th. What are you noticing about the next days that were added? Examine the symbols closely and make a comment below with what you notice. Last time we analyzed these symbols, we had identified them as ancient Egyptian numerals. The staff is equivalent to one, the heel bone equivalent to 10, the scroll equivalent to 100. Remember the calendar grid observations we made when we learned that the symbols were really ancient Egyptian numerals. No need to write this down again. We've already written it down before. But I do want you to look at it again to remind yourself of what the modern numbers were. And we had recorded them like this so far and had gotten up to day 10. Now that we know that th what these symbols mean, can you explain how you figured out what the number was in our numerals? Let's look at some of the earlier markers. How did you think about the fourth day of September? That one had four heel bones and four staffs. That means four tens and four ones, which is 44. How could I write an equation or an expression that shows this thinking? Well, 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1 plus 1. This is an expression because it does not have an equal sign. It is just the calculation you would do to find an answer. If we added equals 44, then it would be an equation. Here we got 44 by adding. Did anyone think about it another way? A faster way is to multiply. We could do four times 10 and four times one. Question, is this an expression or an equation? That's right, it's an expression because there is no equal sign. Let's look at one more card to figure out the numbers for the 12th day. One scroll, three heel bones, two staffs. What modern numeral is that? And how could you write an equation or an expression that shows your thinking? Pause the video and make a comment with what you think below. Then resume the video to confirm your answer. Okay, we could show our thinking in many ways. I will show you the two ways I did it. 100 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 1 plus 1 equals 132. And that's an equation because there's an equal sign in it. Good. Okay, or we could have multiplied and that would look like one scroll is 100, so 1 times 100 plus three heel bones is three times 10, plus then the two staffs is two times one since they are only worth one apiece. And this is an expression because there is no equal sign. Now it's time to take out your number corner book because we are ready to do page one. Take a moment to pause the video and get it and then study the page in silence. Comparing numeration systems. The table at the top of the page shows three different counting systems. Base 10 pieces, modern numerals, ancient Egyptian numerals. Write the modern numerals and the ancient Egyptian numerals to match each set of base 10 pieces. How are our modern numbers like the Egyptian numbers? How are they different? Which system would you rather use every day and why?